10 years ago tomorrow, Superstorm Sandy slammed into the Connecticut coast. You remember these horrifying images just up and down the shoreline, waves wiping out a number of homes. A real nightmare for so many people, and uh, that includes those living in East Haven's Cozy Beach neighborhood. That's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland all these years later with more tonight. Matt. Hi there, Aaron and Mark. You know, right behind me, you can see the sign for the evacuation and the sea level. And, you know, uh, 10 years ago this weekend, this road, well, stretches of it covered in water. And, you know, uh, while it's been a decade, you don't have to look far to find the signs of this storm and its impact. I love the beach and I love my neighbors and uh, it's just a great neighborhood. A neighborhood. Diane Petrillo Higgins has called home for nearly 40 years and one that's undergone quite the change. That was quite, quite a sight. This weekend marks 10 years since Sandy rolled into Connecticut. The pouring rain and storm surge sweeping up the coast as the waves wiped out a number of homes. Here on Cozy Beach Avenue, Diane tells us she made out okay. Just a lot of water in her garage. Only because a fire years before forced her to rebuild what was once a ranch and raise it up. Though many weren't as lucky. Homes knocked off their slabs, debris everywhere. See where they're building right there? We watched that house go right into the water. And there was so much destruction, the whole street. Dan tells us while that neighbor sold their property and others did too, many stayed to rebuild. A lot of the homeowners did a lot of improvements down there, raising their homes up uh, to make them, you know, uh, uh, flood proof, so to speak, with the uh, all the new upgrades. Um, and hopefully we won't get another storm like that for many years to come. But Charlie Coyle, East Haven's Department of Public Services superintendent says you can't help but worry when there's a storm in the forecast, even though there's not much you can do. It's something that, you know, you have to live with when you're living along the shoreline. I mean, you know, you can't control the storm or the water. And those who love to live here by the beach hope they never have to live through it again. But Diane's not so sure. Probably will, but I hope not. And she's not alone in feeling that way. One thing we noticed today while well, down here in this neighborhood, we met a lot of folks who moved here after Stan Sandy. So even knowing the potential, there's still that great pull to live here down by the beach. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in East Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.